Another day in the bio mansions The thorn in this city's side The ghost of the feast The rotten tooth with its dull ache The shortened curly hair In the mouthful of sponge cake Every morning it's like waking In somebody else's bad dream Dawn arrives with the milkman's cries and the person screams. Our uh, latest show, The Animals and Children Took to the Streets, is, uh, it's a uh, one story, but it's, uh, yeah, I suppose it is a bit of a linear narrative. Uh, it's got some great characters, and it's set in a giant tenement block, um, which is absolutely wriggling with animated cockroaches, so every scene is covered in these cockroaches crawling all over the actors. The overall kind of aesthetic of the show is quite wonky, quirky kind of animations interacting with live actors. We actually use three large white screens, um, but you kind of completely forget that they're just three white screens because they're constantly shifting. Um, we project animations all over the three screens and all over the actors and it's as if the actors are sort of trapped in the animations. Goodbye, Red Herring Street. I'm leaving. And nothing's going to stop me. Absolutely nothing is going to stop me from leaving. It's a very easy show to understand and the characters are quite inspired by silent films so you can tell who are the kind of good characters, who are the bad characters and we've designed all the costumes and the makeup and um, the style of playing is all quite exaggerated and also quite animated. We take a lot of inspiration, the acting takes inspiration from the animation. So even if you couldn't understand a word of the story I think it would still be very easy to grasp what's happening. While the rest of the city dines on sweet meats, we nibble fish heads on Red Herring Street. 